In today's first reading we have heard about the desire of David. He was feeling bad for the Lord, so to say. He was living in a palatial house with all the wealth, luxuries and servants. But the presence of the Lord was in the ark, which was moved from place to place. Her desire was to build for the house, a house for the Lord. And we heard the Lord's voice to the prophet that God himself will build a house for himself. And so you here come to this parable today. It's also like God building a house for himself on this earth through the people. This parable is called Parable of the Sower, which you have heard so often. And later on you find an interpretation of the parable. What's the content of the parable? Jesus says, he in a way is a sower who came and sowed seeds. Some of percent of his effort was in vain. Both the intellectuals, the Pharisees, the scribes, our leaders, and all those who were in high position, who were close the heart, did not accept the seed. But the others, the least, the one half percent accepted them, and they brought forth full a hundredfold, some sixty. And who are those people? His own disciples, or illiterates, apostles, the sinners, tax collectors, and others. They all accepted it. So what's the message for us? Jesus put a lot of effort and part of it bore fruit. We too are called to put an effort in whatever we do, be it in our work, be it being our children, being in a ministry, whatever it is. It may sound like our effort is gone down the drain because we do not see what we want immediately. But in the course of time, it is possible that some percentage of our, of our work will bear fruit. Our work is to sow the seed. And we have been doing this when we bring up children. We sow the seed, we give them good values. What happens afterwards when they go, when they're in their teens, when they're adults, is not in our hands. It's in God's hands. So our work is always to sow good seeds in our families, where we work, the fruit, God will take care of it.